test two. Hello, this is the Cambridge English Flyers Listening Test. One. Listen and look. There is one example. Oh, look. This is a great new shop. Oh, yes. And it looks busy today. Do you know the girl who's holding the skirt? The one with the red socks? That's Betty. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's the boy with the glasses? Which boy? The one who's wearing the shorts and putting on the very nice belt? Yes. That's Robert, my friend. Is he going to buy anything? No, everything's too expensive in this shop. And can you see that woman with the curly hair? The one with the bag who's looking at that striped shirt? No, the one who's standing behind the coats. Oh, yes, I can see her. That's Katie. She works here on Saturdays. There are two women in front of the shelves. Yes. And look, one of them's my Aunt Sally. Is she the woman who's wearing the spotted dress? No, she's the one who's putting those shoes on the little boy. I don't think he likes them very much. Can you see that boy with the baseball cap? Oh, yes. He's got a bat in his hand. That's Paul. He plays a lot of sports. Why is he here? He wanted to see the new shop, I think. Do you know anyone here? Yes, I know the girl in the blue skirt. She's my daughter's best friend, Daisy. She's just bought some new gloves. Yes, she has. Now listen to part one again. Who's the boy with the glasses? Which boy? The one who's wearing the shorts and putting on the very nice belt? Yes. That's Robert, my friend. Is he going to buy anything? No, everything's too expensive in this shop. And can you see that woman with the curly hair? The one with the bag who's looking at that striped shirt? No, the one who's standing behind the coats. Oh, yes, I can see her. That's Katie. She works here on Saturdays. There are two women in front of the shelves. Yes, and look. One of them's my Aunt Sally. Is she the woman who's wearing the spotted dress? No, she's the one who's putting those shoes on the little boy. I don't think he likes them very much. Can you see that boy with the baseball cap? Oh, yes. He's got a bat in his hand. That's Paul. He plays a lot of sports. Why is he here? He wanted to see the new shop, I think.
Do you know anyone here? Yes, I know the girl in the blue skirt. She's my daughter's best friend, Daisy. She's just bought some new gloves. Yes, she has. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Now listen, boys and girls. There's going to be a new school magazine. Oh, that's interesting. Can we do something for the magazine? Yes, you can draw something. The magazine will need some pictures. OK, that's great. I'm good at drawing. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What's the name of the magazine, Miss Green? Well, David, Class 7 chose the name. It's going to be Pegasus. Is that P-E-G-A-S-U-S? -S? Yes, that's right. And you can buy the first one next Thursday. And what's going to be in it next week? Well, there's going to be something about the basketball competition at the school. Oh, good. My brother's a great player. And listen, every month, one of the student journalists is going to talk to someone famous. Oh, perhaps it'll be my favourite singer. If you want to help with this magazine, there'll be a meeting today. What time? It's at 3.30. Sorry, no, that's too early. It'll be at 3.45 in my office. Shall we bring anything with us? Some funny pictures? No, I'd like you to think of some funny stories if you can. We might put them in the magazine. OK, that's easy. I've got lots of ideas. Now listen to part two again. What's the name of the magazine, Miss Green? Well, David, Class 7 chose the name. It's going to be Pegasus. Is that P-E-G-A-S-U-S? -S? Yes, that's right. And you can buy the first one next Thursday. And what's going to be in it next week? Well, there's going to be something about the basketball competition at the school. Oh, good. My brother's a great player. And listen, every month, one of the student journalists is going to talk to someone famous. Oh, Perhaps it'll be my favourite singer. If you want to help with this magazine, there'll be a meeting today. What time? It's at 3.30. Sorry, no, that's too early. It'll be at 3.45 in my office. Shall we bring anything with us? Some funny pictures? No, I'd like you to think of some funny stories if you can. We might put them in the magazine. OK, that's easy. I've got lots of ideas. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Helen's family went to different places at the weekend. Where did each person go? Hello, Helen. It was a lovely sunny weekend, wasn't it? Where did you and your family go? Hello, Alex. Well, everyone wanted to do different things. What did your husband, Richard, do? He went to a very old castle. 
He had to drive for three hours to get there, but it was beautiful. Did he take any photos? Yes, he did. They're amazing. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. And what about your daughters? You've got two, haven't you? That's right. So, what about your younger daughter? It's Lucy, isn't it? Yes. She went with some friends to a factory where they make chocolate. Great. Did she enjoy it? Yes. But of course, she ate too much. <laughs> she brought back some lovely presents, so everyone was happy. That sounds brilliant. And what about your other daughter? Jane? She's 19, and she usually has to study at the weekend. But she didn't study this weekend. What did she do? It was her best friend's birthday. So she went to a restaurant for noodles on Saturday evening. They wanted to go to the theater after the meal, but they couldn't get any tickets. And your son? Did he stay at home playing on the computer again? No, he didn't. Oliver loves flying. He reads a lot of magazines about it. He went out with his friend on Saturday to look at those enormous new planes. Oh, did they go to the airport? Yes, they did. His friend's dad took them there. That sounds good. And what about your cousin, Jim? Isn't he staying with you this week? Yes, that's right. He went to the Old Town on Saturday. Did he go to the market? Yes. He likes looking for unusual old things. Did he buy anything? Yes. He bought a silver model of a plane. And what did you do, Helen? I took some books back to the library. I wanted to go to the hospital to see my friend and her new baby, but I didn't have time. When will you go? I'm going to go this evening. Now listen to part three again. And what about your daughters? You've got two, haven't you? That's right. So, what about your younger daughter? It's Lucy, isn't it? Yes. She went with some friends to a factory where they make chocolate. Great. Did she enjoy it? Yes. But, of course, she ate too much. <laughs> she brought back some lovely presents, so everyone was happy. That sounds brilliant. And what about your other daughter? Jane? She's 19, and she usually has to study at the weekend. But she didn't study this weekend. What did she do? It was her best friend's birthday, so she went to a restaurant for noodles on Saturday evening. They wanted to go to the theater after the meal, but they couldn't get any tickets. And your son? Did he stay at home playing on the computer again? No, he didn't. Oliver loves flying. He reads a lot of magazines about it. He went out with his friend on Saturday to look at those enormous new planes. Oh, did they go to the airport? Yes, they did. His friend's dad took them there. That sounds good. And what about your cousin, Jim? Isn't he staying with you this week? Yes, that's right. He went to the Old Town on Saturday. Did he go to the market? Yes. He likes looking for unusual old things. Did he buy anything? Yes. He bought a silver model of a plane. 
And what did you do, Helen? I took some books back to the library. I wanted to go to the hospital to see my friend and her new baby, but I didn't have time. When will you go? I'm going to go this evening. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What time does Harry's family have to leave the house? Hello, Harry. So that was your last day at school, and tomorrow we are going to go on holiday. Yes, it's great. What time do we have to leave the house? Is it quarter past seven? I told you yesterday. It's quarter to seven. It's very early, Mum. We'll all have to get up at five thirty. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What must Harry take on holiday? Can you get your things ready for the holiday now? Don't forget your new toothbrush. Yes, Mum. I don't need many things. I don't need to take a jacket, do I? No. Can I take my new roller skates? I think they're too heavy. Two. Where is Harry's diary? Where's my diary? I want to take it on holiday. I can write about everything that happens. It's on the balcony, isn't it? On the little table. Oh look! I found it. It's here on the bookcase. Who put it there? Grandma. She likes everything to be tidy. My diary should always be with my comics under my desk. Okay, so don't leave it downstairs every night. Three. Where would Harry most like to go? There are going to be lots of great places to see Harry. There's a zoo. Yes, we could go there, but there's another more interesting place. What's that? Is it the caves? Yes, my friend William says it's very exciting there. And please, Mum. What? I don't want to go to any museums with Dad. Four. What animal did Harry's family film last year? Do you remember the big octopus we saw on holiday last year? Oh yes, I thought it was very ugly. I wanted to video it, but I didn't have my camera that day. But we filmed that funny monkey outside the hotel, didn't we? Yes. Will we see any animals this time? Well, in the country we are going to visit. There are lots of camels, Harry. Five. What is Harry's mum going to buy? Now, have I got everything we need? Did you remember the pizzas for dinner tonight? Yes, they're in the fridge, and I got Grandma's medicine too. What about a map? Last year we got lost. Oh yes, good idea. I'll go and get one from the bookshop now. Okay, Mum. See you later. Now listen to part four again. One. What must Harry take on holiday? Can you get your things ready for the holiday now? 
Don't forget your new toothbrush. Yes, Mum. I don't need many things. I don't need to take a jacket, do I? No. Can I take my new roller skates? I think they're too heavy. Two. Where is Harry's diary? Where's my diary? I want to take it on holiday. I can write about everything that happens. It's on the balcony, isn't it? On the little table. Oh, look. I found it. It's here on the bookcase. Who put it there? Grandma. She likes everything to be tidy. My diary should always be with my comics under my desk. OK, so don't leave it downstairs every night. Three. Where would Harry most like to go? There are going to be lots of great places to see, Harry. There's a zoo. Yes, we could go there. But there's another more interesting place. What's that? Is it the caves? Yes. My friend William says it's very exciting there. And please, Mum. What? I don't want to go to any museums with Dad. Four. What animal did Harry's family film last year? Do you remember the big octopus we saw on holiday last year? Oh, yes. I thought it was very ugly. I wanted to video it, but I didn't have my camera that day. But we filmed that funny monkey outside the hotel, didn't we? Yes. Will we see any animals this time? Well, in the country we're going to visit, there are lots of camels, Harry. Five. What is Harry's mum going to buy? Now, have I got everything we need? Did you remember the pizzas for dinner tonight? Yes, they're in the fridge. And I got Grandma's medicine too. What about a map? Last year we got lost. Oh yes, good idea. I'll go and get one from the bookshop now. OK, Mum. See you later. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Look at this picture. It shows two children in the jungle. Yes, I love that hippo in the lake. It isn't frightening. No, it isn't. It's enjoying being in the water. Yes, it is. Shall I colour it blue? Is that OK? Fine. That's a good colour. Can you see the blue hippo? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. I can see two tents. One of them has a parrot on top of it. Yes, it does. Can I colour it? Can you colour the other one instead? But only colour the star. Can I do it yellow? All right. That's your favourite colour, isn't it? Yes, it is. Two. I'd like to write something on this picture. OK. Can you see the flag? Yes. I can. It's moving in the wind. It is. Write the word camp on it. Why? Is this where the children eat and sleep? That's right. 
They can make a fire too. Three. The boys have rucksacks. Oh, yes. For their food and water, I think. Can I colour the one on the ground, near the boy on the left? Well, why don't you do the one on the other boy's back? No problem. He's pointing at that beautiful creature. Look, it's a butterfly. Are you happy with red? Yes, that's a good colour. Four. It's very hot in the jungle. The boys need umbrellas. I could colour one of them. What do you think? If you want, colour the bigger one green. OK. There's a tortoise. It's sleeping under it. Yes. That's a surprise in the jungle. I know. And can you write something else now, too? Yes, I'd like that. I'm good at writing. Can you see the piece of wood on the tree? The tree near the boy on the left? Yes. Can you write bridge on it? The people can go there to cross the river. That's right. Well done. It's a great picture now. Now listen to part five again. One. I can see two tents. One of them has a parrot on top of it. Yes, it does. Can I colour it? Can you colour the other one instead? But only colour the star. Can I do it yellow? All right. That's your favourite colour, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'd like to write something on this picture. OK. Can you see the flag? Yes, I can. It's moving in the wind. It is. Write the word camp on it. Why? Is this where the children eat and sleep? That's right. They can make a fire too. Three. The boys have rucksacks. Oh, yes. For their food and water, I think. Can I colour the one on the ground, near the boy on the left? Well, why don't you do the one on the other boy's back? No problem. He's pointing at that beautiful creature. Look, it's a butterfly. Are you happy with red? Yes, that's a good colour. Four. It's very hot in the jungle. The boys need umbrellas. I could colour one of them. What do you think? If you want, colour the bigger one green. OK. There's a tortoise. It's sleeping under it. Yes. That's a surprise in the jungle. I know. Five. And can you write something else now, too? Yes, 
I'd like that. I'm good at writing. Can you see the piece of wood on the tree? The tree near the boy on the left? Yes. Can you write bridge on it? The people can go there to cross the river. That's right. Well done. It's a great picture now. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test.